many hours does your existing process for migrating your WordPress database take you? Messing around with SQL files and PHP MyAdmin is a pain. With WP Migrate DB Pro, you can migrate your WordPress database from one install to another with just one click in your dashboard. Let's take a look how it works. First, you need to decide which operation you want to perform. Export, import, pull, push, or find and replace. An export generates a SQL file of your database that saves to your computer with URLs replaced without corrupting any serialized data. This file can be imported via WP Migrate DB Pro's import feature or via third party tools like SQL Pro, PHP MyAdmin, or the command line. Import replaces the current database with the contents of a SQL file and can run a find and replace on the data as it's imported. A pull replaces a local WordPress database with the contents of a remote WordPress database. It pulls the database down from the remote while replacing URLs to match your local. A push replaces a remote WordPress database with the contents of a local WordPress database. It pushes your local database to the remote whilst replacing URLs to match the remote. Find and Replace runs a find and replace on the current database without needing to export and import a database, which can be very helpful for domain changes or switching sites to HTTPS. You can read our quick start guide for more information on all of these operations, but today we'll just do a quick pull between sites. Here I've got two tabs open, the live version of my site and a local version. You can see there are some differences between the two databases. There are newer posts on live and the comment counts are different. You can also see some plugins are activated on live but deactivated on my development site and vice versa. I have the Nginx caching plugin activated only on live and the query monitor plugin only activated on development. I need to do some work on the site locally and want to start with the development database being up to date with live. So let's update the development database by pulling down a fresh copy of the live database. To start, I'll create a fresh migration profile on the development site, pulling from the live site. I need the connection info for live, so switching to live I can grab the connection info. Here you'll notice that currently the live site does not accept having its database pulled or pushed into it. If I try and connect from dev, I'll see a warning. So I need to flick the switch on live to allow pulls. Connecting again works this time. The find and replace pairs for the URL and path are already auto-populated, which is great. You can add custom find and replace pairs like this, but for now, I'll leave the defaults. I have some tables that I don't want pulled down from live. They contain data I don't care about for developing, like backup plugin tables. I can select all other tables in the table selection box. I could also exclude certain post types from being migrated within the post table, but I'll leave that for now. Excluding post types doesn't mean that they'll remain in the development database's post table, but rather they'll be removed from the table that's copied across from live. In the advanced settings, I'll check to exclude spam comments as I don't want those, and I'll also check the don't migrate active plugin settings, as I don't want certain plugins activated on development. I won't perform a backup of my development database at the moment and I won't save the profile. So I'm ready to go. Let's migrate. The migration modal shows the progress of the overall migration and you can see the progress of individual tables as well. If I pause the migration, I can actually close my laptop and come back to this later and resume it. Once that's all done, you can see it took just over a minute to migrate 15 megs of data across. I can do that as often as I like as part of my development workflow. If I now look at my development site, I can see all the posts are now up to date and the comment counts are the same as live. The query monitor plugin is still active, but the Nginx plugin is disabled as it was before the migration. And with that, I've just saved myself hours, if not days, of development time. 
With our add-ons, you can migrate more than just your database. Add-ons for theme and plugin files, multi-site, media files, and CLI, and more. Visit our WP Migrate DB Pro page to learn more.